Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday fly tying video with Old Guy Outdoors. I'm Edward Makey and today we're going to tie a midge pattern. It's called a Biot midge, mainly because, uh, for lack of a better name, it's made with goose biot. So, uh, here we go with the Biot midge. Okay, today we're going to start with a size 22 curved hook and 70 denier black thread. And we're just going to start behind the eye and work our way back to the curve. There we go. Cover the thread. We're going to cut the waist. Pull that little hair that we got stuck in there somehow. There we go. All right, now we're going to take a black goose by it and attach the uh, attachment end to a hackle pliers and tie the tip on to just by the curve and, of the hook and take the thread back up behind the eye. Now we're going to take this goose by it and it's important to have the leading edge of the goose by it, the part that's at the tip of the feather. Uh, because that's the thickest part. It'll give you a nice ridge on this on this uh, midge. You you want these to have little ridges on them. There you go, like that. And we're just going to wrap that. Be careful with it because they're 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 strong, but they don't always uh, bend real nice. So be gentle with them. Uh, I've been told you can soak these in water before you do this and it'll help. Uh, here's a really good shot of the ridges that we're getting. Uh, and that's what we want on this particular uh, midge. So then we're, we'll get that up to about our starting point and we'll do some wraps over it. Excuse my video on here. My fingers are in the way. There we go. And then we'll... Uh, just trim off the waist part. That's the part that comes off the stem, as you'd call it. Um, and we'll trim that off. And then we'll do some several cover wraps. Make sure that's attached. See the ridges on there? That's what you want on this particular fly. Um, then we're going to take a, a piece of a grizzly black and white hackle. And... Uh, we're just going to attach that about an eye length behind the eye and uh, pull off a little bit of the feather here so we can get a good attachment. There we go. Yep. And we'll just tie that right behind the eye like that. Do several wraps over it. Nice thug wraps. And then we're just going to wrap that around oh, two or three times, I guess. There's one and two. We don't want a big, big, strong hackle on this fly, but we want uh, we want a little bit of visibility. So two's plenty. Then we're going to do some secure wraps on that. Pull that up. Trim off the excess. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do a little trimming of my wild hairs that I got in there. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our whip finish tool and just put uh, several whip finishes. I don't use head cement on these particular flies either, so um, I will do like a double whip finish. I'll do three or four whip finishes, tie the knot, pull it tight, and then I'll just do it again. And that seems to hold really well for me, and I don't have to mess with the head cement and cleaning out the eye afterwards and all that. There we go. Now we'll just trim off the thread. And there you go. 
that is your uh, black biot mids. You can make these different colors, but uh, I use black the most. So there you go. Enjoy fishing with this. This will be a nice fly for you. Hey, thanks for watching. That's all we have for today. We sure appreciate you. Please like and share our videos. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And remember, till next time, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.